All right, Shalom. Shalom. <clears throat> you know, first and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh. Yahweh. Giving double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for teaching us his knowledge. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the hopeful like Akim out there throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, the Lord has allowed us to, um, you know, um, do another video um, to push the coming of Yahweh Shah. Uh, Lord willing, we hope it be edifying to the elect. You know, because we do these videos for the elect, you know, to edify the elect, to warn the elect to come back, man, before it's too late. Because those are the only ones that's going to hear this word. And, hey, man, seeing the times, the, the, the signs of the times, which the Lord told us about, um, we know that the Lord is is closer to uh, making his return back here. <laughs> uh, you can start off in that second Ezra um, chapter nine. Yeah. This is second Ezra nine and one. And it reads, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right, and we in the times of um, um, measuring the times, looking at the times that we in, man. Eh? You know, come uh, in the times of the, the coming of the Lord, man, trying to make it right with our power, you know, turning back, which to turn back means to repent. We in the times of repenting uh, to you, how about Shem the the, the the true powers that be and coming back to serve our Lord, man, you know, because all hell about to break loose, man, all hell about to break loose soon come, man, and we seeing it. Because the Lord gave us the, the mysteries, the secrets, you know, he gave us the, the, the secrets of the scriptures, man, to understand the times that we in. So, hey, that we better come back. Because if we don't come back, we're going to be destroyed when Yahweh Shai make his return back here. And it ain't going to be um an easy transition, man, if you don't come back. It ain't going to be easy. <clears throat> you got it, Doc. Yeah. Uh. Back at uh, Second Edges nine and three, and it reads: Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from those days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And we seeing all these different um, current events happen on the earth right now at, at a grand scale, man. At a grand scale, these things are happening. So that's why the Lord is warning us to, to turn back and do what he command, do what he command of us, man. You know, before he make his return back here. Because how about Shemal Shai ain't playing no games, man. If we don't turn back to the Lord right now, before all hell break loose, hey, it's, hey man, it, it, hey, the scriptures speak about a lot of people um, knowing death by pain in this, in this very scripture. The different calamities that's that's coming upon the earth, you know, and if you um engrafted in this system, the Lord is gonna have you take that that MOTB. You got it out. This is uh second it was nine and five. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And the end is manifest. Hey, which means that Yahweh by Shemal Shai is going to bring this destruction to this place, man. The scriptures say, um, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. So the words of Yahweh by Shemal Shai is not going to return unto him void, man. Whatever he say going to happen, it, it is and it will, it must happen. Because why it's impossible for the God of the Bible to lie. He don't lie about nothing, man. So we need to trust in, in the things which he, which he is saying, man. You know? Which the elect is going to do that. 
That's why we only do these videos for the elect, because reading these scriptures and going over these different accounts is going to put that fear in us to know that the Lord is not playing around, man. He never played around. Lord say, I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed, which means the Lord is going to bring the day of doom to this place, man. There's never been a kingdom on the earth that was dealing in wickedness and, 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 and it's still here, you know? All the kingdoms of old that was dealing in wickedness, what the Lord did to it, bro. Destroyed them. He destroyed it, man. That's right, huh? You got it. I got a quick precept, um, too, at the... Uh, huh, is, you, you can get your precept. Just going, it's just going into what you're saying. This is uh, Matthew 24, 7, and it reads, For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there should be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Going in with um, this saying in Second Hebrews nine and five, and the end is manifest. This is, this is the uh, beginning of sorrows that's uh, happening right now. You know, all these uh, earthquakes, all these uh, storms and hurricanes and the uproars of the people. All these things are. Uh, 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 um, uh, inkling, uh, inkling of the of the end is is the the end is being manifested right before our eyes, man. Prophecy is speaking. God. But back in uh, second edges, oh, you got it, bro. No, I was gonna say hey, you're absolutely right, bro. Hey, the the end is manifesting, man. Hey, we just had like two hurricanes, a hey, back to back. Right. And they said it's a third one that's supposed to be coming, man. Yeah. Hurricane Nadine. <laughs> hey, the Lord ain't playing no game. The Lord is, is angry at this place, man. Hey, the scriptures say the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Um and, and he and, and he will not utterly destroy the house of um Jacob said the Lord. So mm. it's hope for those who come back to you how by Shemel Shai and do as commanded. But for those who don't come back, hey man, you're gonna be faced with, with a world of hurt, man. A world of hurt, a world of trouble, a world of pain, you know? That's right. And we and we're trying to escape that by doing the simple things that Yahweh by Shemel Shai is asking us to do, man. What you say his um commandments are not grievous. You got it up. That's right. We're trying, we're trying to be hid from his wrath. Mm. This is uh second it was nine and six, and it reads, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And we right. Give him, hey. no, oh, you got it, brother. Nah, you got it up. It's a lot. No, nah, I was just about to say, uh, we've been given uh many signs. Of 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 uh, the heavenly Father's work, man, that He's getting ready to do on this earth. He's getting ready to to uh, bring judgment upon this earth and do the powerful works and and the, and the effects and signs that we see. We see in the chariots, we're seeing blood moons, we're seeing eclipses. You know, we're seeing uh, like we just said the uproars of the people all over the earth. You know, these are the signs, man. That the Lord has given us to know that we're, you know, that the, the day is near. The day of the Lord is near. Yeah, kind. Yeah, he's most definitely near, man. Yeah, how about some outside is most definitely near. And he's about to bring judgment like no other, man. That's why we just, hey, we got to stay um, grounded and rooted and locked in. Um, and yeah, how about some outside? And doing what the Lord command us to do, cause, hey man, hey we're gonna be happy if 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 we part of the elect, if we just uh, endure, man. Uh, back at uh Second Edges nine and seven, and it reads, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, where ye have believed. So yeah. You know, faith without works is dead. Works without faith is dead. You know, you got to have both. They both go hand in hand. So, you know, 
you can't just be out here just uh sitting behind watching and not putting your, you know, getting your hands dirty to say, you know what I'm saying? You got to be in this thing all the way, you know, to show your faith by your works and your works by your faith. Cause I say that's, that's how you're going to be saved. You're not going to be saved cause you just went to church and put, you know, a couple of dollars in a basket, you know, thinking that covers your sins. That doesn't cover your sins, man. Hey, believe in, in your how about you was shy and doing what he say that shows faith and works and that's how you're going to be saved in the time to come it's not you know it's not going to be raptured out of here because you think you've been going to church for the last 30 years for you christians out here uh, uh, back to second edges nine and eight shall be preserved from the set said perils they shall see my salvation <clears throat> in my land and within my borders for i have sanctified them for me from the beginning that's right that's talking about the elect you know he sanctified those from the beginning man those that's showing their faith by their works and making their calling of election sure you know you know fighting a good fight you know, striving for this truth until death. Those are the ones that he has sanctified from the beginning. Second Edges 9 and 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Mm. Hey. So the Lord going to torment your ass in that fire. And first he's going to torment you in, 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 in other grievous ways that he's going to bring on the earth, you know, through uh, starvation, being killed by the sword, being, um, you know, whatever, how, whatever and however the Lord see fit to put you to death. You know, he's going to put that, your worst fears are going to come to reality. Second edge is nine and ten. It's such hey brother, I don't see your picture either. I don't know if you just got it blacked out. Yeah, it's just Satan up. Satan just Satan working. I'm I'm here okay. though. Okay, come. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they have loathed my law while they had yet liberty right now. You got the uh, grace, the mercy right now to, to, you know, the Lord that's showing you that grace and mercy for you to turn back, like the brother said earlier, man, and repent and turn back to your Abashim Yahweh Shah. Hey, now is the time. Time. And the scripture says, um, high time to awake out of sleep. For now is salvation nearer than when we believe, man. Hey, the, the coming of our Lord. It's nearer than when we believe, man. And when he come back, uh, we know what the scriptures say his rebukes is going to be with, man. Uh, mm -hmm. His rebukes is with um, a flames of fire. You know, the fire from the chariots, uh, the fire from the nuclear missiles. So when the Lord make his return back here, man, it ain't, it ain't going to be a pretty sight. It ain't going to be an easy thing. It ain't going to be pretty, man. <clears throat> But you got it out. Uh, back at, uh, you can get that precept, as a matter of fact, that Isaiah, how the Lord coming back, man. Because people uh, are thinking that, um, people are really thinking that Yahweh Shai is an Edomite and he coming back to give loves, love, hugs, and kisses, and, 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 and flowers and stuff like that, which the Lord ain't coming back like that, man. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 66 and 15. And it reads, For behold, the Lord Yahweh Bashan Yahweh would come with fire and with chariots. Yeah, and that's how Yahweh Shah coming back, man. He coming back with fire and with chariots. He said, um, he, he said, um, what will I, 
uh, if the fire already be kindled, roughly paraphrasing the scripture, you know, when, when he come back, man, because the, the fire is already are already going to be kindled with the fire from them um, nuclear muscles. And when he come back, he coming to add the fire with the fire from the chariots, man, that, that concentrated fire. Hey, the Lord ain't playing no games, man. How about Shemal Shai ain't playing no games? That's why we got to be um grounded and rooted in this thing, man. You know, Jake going to be out here bugging out. Why? Because they loafed the law of the Lord. They, they refused to do what the Lord commanded to do, commanded, commanded Israel to do. So they're going to have to feel they gonna have to feel of this rebuke, man. Because the Lord rebuking right now through his men. Hey, giving the warning. Hey, I'm about to make my return back here. Soon come. Get right. Because when I come back, it, it ain't going to be no easy thing. Sure. Hey, the scripture speaker, um, people having heart attacks, man. People dropping yeah. dead at the sight of the things that that um we about to witness. And the scriptures actually the scriptures say we gonna scarcely be saved, man. Right. We're going to scarcely be saved of, of the different things that's that's coming on the earth, man. So it ain't, it ain't going to be no pretty easy. It ain't going to be no easy thing um, a, to, to, to witness this stuff that's about to happen if you ain't covered by Yahweh Shai. If you ain't covered by the blood of Yahweh by Shai. That's why we coming back and doing to the best, man, and hopes. That the Lord give us a strong spirit to endure this and not to fold, man. And not to fold. Because we're going to need the spirit of Yahweh Shai on us to stay strong through this thing, man. Even when he make his return back here, man. The righteous shall scarcely be saved. Why I say that? Because we just going to make it, bro. Yeah. yeah. That's going back to, hey, everyone that should be saved shall escape by his works and faith. And mm. if you ain't got that, like the brothers is saying, boy, it's gonna be, man, it's gonna be a time like that. That just scared me alone. Every time I say that, it's gonna be a time like never before. You know, you're gonna be seeing things like Leviathan. You know, you're gonna be seeing uh, apparitions out here. All kind of things that you thought you would never see. This is gonna be like a a real life movie to you. Mm. But yeah, we in a movie. We in Yah Bashanel Shah's movie right now. And it's and it, it's just gonna get a little bit more. Hey, you know how like hey, this somebody I forgot who bring this up, but at the you know, towards the end of the movie, it started getting real good. And this is where we at, man. Right. It started getting the action. Uh, yeah. it started getting more action packed and, and things like that start to happen, man. A lot of action packed things. They exactly. wish the Lord is about to amplify this thing, amplify it up, man. Hey, man, that's why we gotta, we gotta know what we involved in. We gotta know um, what these accounts, what these accounts are, and, and how the Lord saved the men out of some very terrifying situations because they believed in Him. You know that that should boost our faith. To believe in Yahweh by Shem Al So when the when the day come, you know, the coming of the Lord, our faith is gonna be boosted up. Why? Because we did what the Lord asked us to do, man. What he commanded us to do. Yeah. So this thing, hey man, this thing really um beautiful, man. You know? Yeah. This thing really beautiful, man. And we just gotta be um we just gotta be ready, man, you know, built up in the faith. Um Having that strong faith, having that our uh, forefathers' faith, that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob faith, having that Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego faith, yeah, and yeah. ultimately having our Lord Yahweh Shai, and the faith that he had, bro, to endure all the things that he endured. But now look at him on the right hand side of the Father, bro, because he did what his father commanded him to do, man. That's what we got to do with what Yahweh Shem Al Shai is commanding us to do, man. You know, so that we can uh, be joint heirs, man. Because yeah. we got a, a, a reward coming if we endure, man, through this hell, through the things that we go through, through this wicked ass and this wicked ass place, man. It ain't gonna be like this forever, Jake. See, Jake thinking it's gonna be like this forever, man. No, 
That's why we're supposed to be coming back to you. How about Shema Shah doing what the Lord command us to do to the best of our abilities, man? Fighting this flesh, man. And the beautiful thing, um, um, like the brother said, down here in the Orlando camp, man. Once you wake up, you know that that a hey, yourself, a hey, hey, yourself, yourself. This flesh it never um sleep, man. You wake up, the flesh got on the boxing gloves, man. Just a hey. <laughs> flesh ready yeah. for you, man. It's a constant yeah. battle against the, the spirit and the flesh, man. God, it's, hey, it's like that. It's, it's like that. Uh, that movie Venom. With that symbiote flesh, that flesh is fighting. He's he's trying to fight that 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 uh that symbiote. That's what it's called, I believe. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's a beautiful to... a beautiful example. Yeah. So yeah, yeah we ain't yeah, fighting against what principles and principalities, powers of the air. But, you know, it, it's 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 rough, and it, we gotta have that helmet of salvation. Because if we don't have that, man, like you said, hey, what? Just think about what you said. The ones that 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 shun these scriptures, that don't want to come back to Yah Bashem was Shah, they don't know what surrender for time. They don't know that knowledge and wisdom gonna be the stability of their time, as our time and the times are coming, and, and 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 the Lord gonna shut that that knowledge off from them, and they just gonna be out here bugging out, man. Mm. Yeah. Like they're gonna be bugged the hell out, man. They gonna they gonna wish they gonna wish they came back to you how about Shima shot, man, and did as commanded. That's why we fight, brothers. You know, that's why we fight, bro. And it's it is a fight, Akim, but we can't let go, man. We gotta have that that Jacob <laughs> that Jacob spirit when he <laughs> let go of that angel, man. God. And that was the an angel, but Jacob held held on, bro. We got a, a hold fast to which thou has. Whatever you have, brother, whatever you have, that gift that the Lord gave you to give out, or you know, just being in the truth, being a brother, whatever gift that you have that you acknowledge, man, just do it to the fullest. You you able to cook for brothers, you know, you able to um open up your home to brothers, you know, a a a men. You know that that you know the spirit have you do so you do so man you ever able to help a brother you know you you see him down on his luck and you know he probably got a flat it's three in the morning and you see him calling and 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 you deal with him man hey that's what's pleasing on to the Lord bro doing these simple things is gonna carry us um through the coming of Yahweh Shai because it's it, it's gonna be a bumpy ride man. But like the brother just quoted, man, because you, because you, um, um, what's that scripture you just co quoted? Because you, because you kept the faith or something like that. The Lord going to be with you, man. The Lord right. going to be with us, man. Yeah, but, um, back in uh, Isaiah 66 and 15, for behold, the Lord, Yahweh Shah will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Mm. To render his anger with fury or his rebuke with flames of fire. Hey, so the Lord is is pissed pissed the hell off, man. That's why when Yahweh Shah come back, it ain't it ain't gonna be no peaceful thing, man. Scripture says, "Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not mm. light, man?" Mm. The day of the Lord is gonna be a a a, a gruesome time, a, a day of judgment, a day of wrath. You know, a, a, a day of um, all hell breaking loose, man. That's why we see these different, uh, like the brother got earlier, and um, that Matthews uh, chapter 24, that's why we see the different wars and rumors of wars and different things that's happening on the earth because the, the Yahweh Shah is about to make his return back here, man. And it ain't it ain't gonna be pretty, bro. And the scriptures say the Lord will not meet thee as a man. See, people mm. thinking that the Lord coming back in a man form. He coming back in a in a form we never seen. The type of vibration we never felt. That's how the Lord coming back, man. And it's 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 a it's gonna be so amazing, so so glorious. Scriptures say, um, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess, bro. Hey, every time the angels appear to men, and hey, people got hey, the, the prophets got scared, they bowed down. 
And those was just the angels. Those was just the angels. Imagine the Lord and his mm. and his glory and his and his power, Yahweh Shai, and his strength. How he about to come back, man. I say he will not meet thee as a man. So he ain't coming back as in, in the flesh like 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 before, man. Yep. So, so Jake better get that shit right, man. Cause the Lord hey, hey, that, this should bring terror upon all of us to just just make us just meditate on damn man. I, I hope I'm a man of the Lord. I hope I'm part of the elect. I hope I hope I endure, man. You know, to just do right to the best of your abilities, man, and acknowledge your your mess ups, your screw ups and repent. You know, right. <clears throat> uh, this is Isaiah sixty six and sixteen, and it reads: For by fire and by his sword will the Lord Yahweh Shah plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord Yahweh Shah shall be many. Mm. And when, hey, I just heard uh, when you go into that word plead. In the blue letter, it means to judge. So the Lord is about to judge all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. So he's not coming back on a, a war tour to, 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 to uh, unite the earth. He's coming back to judge the earth, man, mm. for the things you did, good or bad. So you're going to get your reward to what you've done, man. He's going to reward you for all the bad you've done, and he's going to reward you for all the good you've done, you know? But he's coming to plead to judge all flesh, as nobody's going to escape this judgment. So being the people of Yahweh Shah, what you ought to be doing, man, you ought to be coming back and repenting and, and, and um, calling on the name of the Lord to, to save you, man, from this coming destruction, this second death. That the Lord is about to bring upon the earth, That's in, right, in, huh? in, in a form of fire this time, not water. We know the story about Noah and the flood. This is proven facts. And he said he wouldn't do this this time. This time he's coming back and he's going to destroy the earth with fire. That's why the scripture said this, man. For by the for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Hey, I got a precept. Okay. Uh, real quick. Um, you were speaking about the flood, how the Lord um bought the judgment um um by the flood. <clears throat> this is um this is um Sirach, chapter forty, verse eight. It says such things happen unto all flesh. Both man and beast. And this was the anger of the Lord, bro. This was the anger of Yahweh Shemal Shad that he bought upon the earth during the flood. Why? Because it was it, it, the scriptures say um evil multiply upon the earth, man. And look mm -hmm. how look how evil things are upon the earth right about now, bro. It says and this was in the past. That's why the scripture says nothing new under the sun what happened in the past. In the future, bro. That's right. It says, Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners. Damn. Shit. So the, whew, the sinner going, man, you don't want to be, <laughs> you don't want to be found naked, man. And you don't want to be found as a sinner. When the Lord makes his return, man, you just don't want to be found that way. Just like you, you just read earlier, the righteous are scarcely going to be saved. So what's going to happen? Hey, what what you think going to happen to the ungodly? Man. Right. Right. Hey, hey go into it, bro. And, and, and what happened in the past going to happen in the future. But like you beautifully said, it ain't going to be by... um. Water this time is going to be by the the cleaning cleansing agent as the fire. Mm. It says verse nine, death and bloodshed, strife and the sword, calam uh, calamities, famine, tribulation and the scourge. 
those things are created for the wicked and for their sakes came the flood. That's right, man. Mm. Hey, for a a uh if I'm sinner, when you transgress the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah, you a sinner. And you're gonna have to eat of the plagues that's written in the book, man. If you don't come back to Yahweh by Shema Shah and repent and do the things that's commanded, you know, to the best of your abilities, which we ain't perfect. So the Lord ain't asking for perfect, man. He don't ask for perfect because he know we sinners. He, see, how about Shem outside looking for the sincere? Who going to be sincere and who not going to be sincere? You know, who going to be yeah. a sincere man and do what I'm asking and who ain't? So we just got to be sincere um, in his truth, in his ministry, because the Lord know the inward man. He know if you being sincere and he know if you being phony. You know, and we don't want to be no phony and fake type of guy in this truth, man. Because if not, yeah. if you're doing that, the most I going to bring those different plagues that I just read, man. Those different plagues that I just read about upon upon you if you're a sinner, man. You know, if you don't repent, if you just keep dealing in wickedness. <clears throat> you got it, Doc. Right. Um, back at... Uh... Matter of fact, um, I get that. The revelations. This is uh Revelations one and seven. It reads, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Right, he coming, man. He coming on the chariots. Cloud is um a code name for a chariot. The so-called UFOs, which the world call them, but they're the chariots of, of Yahshua Allah. You know, the, the, the vehicles that the, the angels and, and, and the Lord ride around in. And when they come back, um, every eye shall see him, man. That's going to be a great day, man. When when the Lord um, get the word to come back and crack those those skies and, and get what, the, what, what Yahweh has given his son, man. Which Yahweh has given his son every all dominion over over all things, man. You got it out. Uh, um, back at back at Revelation one and seven, and they also I'll start back from the top. This, this is Revelation one and seven. Behold, he comes with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. Hey, that that shows reincarnation too, man. You know, so the guys that pierced the Lord over two thousand years ago, and hey, they back today to get their judgment. Because they're going to see the Lord. They're probably in the military, mm -hmm. high-ranking in the military, wherever they at, man. You know, because hey, we die and come back. Scripture speak about that every um, three or four generations, yep. you know, we come back in the flesh. That's right. Because our spirit die and, and, and uh, no, our flesh die, but the spirit go back to the Father. So our spirit never die. So our, our spirit to the to the spiritual realm where we get the judgment um from from the heavenly father and the, the lord put us back down here on the earth to live out our judgment so them guys that pierced the lord over two thousand years ago you israelites that mocked yahweh over two thousand years ago you're gonna get um your judgment man is is no escaping None of us is going to escape whatever that we have coming, whether it be judgment or salvation. And we hoping that we got salvation coming for us, man. That's why we do to the best of our abilities to do what's pleasing on to Yahweh by Shem al because we know these things are going to happen, man. We know they're going to happen because the Lord don't lie. That's why it's beautiful to have this, this truth in these mysteries, man, because we know you got right, it out. Bro. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so, Amen. Yeah. So when they when they see the Lord, you know, standing on that chariot, man, and 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 they see how angry he's looking, man. These these uh, people are gonna well, and they are gonna die at the sight of Yahweh Bashem Shah's returning. Ah. You know. And just to add to you, uh, with the re regeneration, reincarnation. 
that that is one of the the best ways you can prove this, man, because that that centurion who pierced Yahweh Shah, he's not still alive walking around to this day. Right. You know. So is is no one living to be you no know, two thousand years old right now? So this means that it has to be reincarnation. You know. And and he he that have an ear, let him hear what the spirit said for unto the churches, man. And shalom to you brothers and sisters that may be chiming in. Shalom. Um, y'all about some outside broken thumb. Y'all about some outside broken thumb. I got a, a quick one. Just a bag, you real quick. This is Isaiah 63 and 4. And it reads, For the day of vengeance is in mine heart. Hey, see, the Lord is ready to come back to get busy, bro. He said the day of vengeance burneth in his heart. He ready for payback. You know what they did to the Lord over 2,000 years ago, man? The Lord ain't forgot. The scriptures say uh, one day to the Lord is a thousand, thousand years to us, man. You know, so the Lord ain't forgot. You got it out. Right. Isaiah 6, 3 and 4, for the day of vengeance is in my heart and the year of my redeem is come. Mm. Hey, talk about the elect, man. He's getting ready to redeem those that he um, had from the foundation of the uh, world. You know, he's getting ready to take those uh, those that he chose the chosen right. ones, those that are written in that Lamb's Book of Life, man. And if you ain't written in it, you you gonna um you gonna pay the price. Hey, and, and, and he's ready to redeem everything that the Father gave him. Right. He's, he's ready to, re to redeem this earth, man. He said the day of his redeem has has come. Hey, the Lord was giving all this stuff once he laid down his life and went back to the spiritual world. Yahweh gave him everything, bro. And we know Esau is ruling the earth right now. You know, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So the Lord is about to come back and redeem it back, man, and take it back. You know, yep. <laughs> hey, right along with his elect, his people, hey, that, you know, and all that, bro. Lord is about to redeem everything, man, because everything is, is, is Yahweh Shah's, man, for his great works. And which Yahweh, Yahweh said, this is my son, who I am well pleased, hear ye him. So Yahweh Shai uh, was was given everything, man. And he's about to come back and redeem it back, man. And he's going to take it by force, man. Because the Lord is going to harden Esau's heart to fight against him, like he did Pharaoh. Right. This is... Uh... I got another quick one. This is uh, Isaiah 47 and 3. Hey, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Mm. Just like uh, we were just going into, you know, he's not coming back, you know, as, as, a, as, a, as a man this time. He's coming back as an angelic force. Right. You know. He's not going to be riding in on that donkey, coming on that chariot. He's coming on that cloud this time. And right. he's coming to take vengeance. This don't sound like a happy ending here. It's going to be a happy ending, but it's not going to be a happy ending for those of you who are against Yahabash and Shah. Those of you who are the Antichrist or the anti Hamashiach. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's about to get ugly real quick, man. It ain't it ain't gonna be nothing pretty soon come. Nothing pretty is is coming to this place and all the wickedness that's going on here. It's nothing pretty um, coming to this place, man. That's why we just need to trust in your by Shem El Shai and do as commanded, man, and and just fall in place, fall in fall in place wherever the Lord placed you at, whether the Lord got you as a doorman, whether he got you as a dishwasher, whether he got you as a server, whether he got you as the cook, just do whatever your office is, man. Whether he got you as a supervisor, what if he got you as a general, general manager, you know, hey, everything <laughs> yeah. is just got to fall in line, bro. Yeah, kind of. 
Jake ahead. just Jake be trying to be everybody want to be a, a, a general manager, man. Yeah. <laughs> everybody want to be a regional. <laughs> like nigga, right. shut your ass down and do what the fuck the Lord got you doing, bro. Are you gonna face up his wrath, man? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely correct about that, brother. Everybody wanna be be uh the boss, boss man. You know, it don't work like that, man. You got to play your position, like you said. It's right. crazy. Uh, I got another one for you. This is uh, Zephaniah 1 and 15. It reads, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Mm. All right, them nuclear missiles, a, a day of wrath, a day of gloominess, because them missiles, man, it's, it's going to um, block out the uh, skies. <clears throat> when they hit, it's going to do that mushroom cloud. It's a, a day of wrath and destruction, man. That's, that's what's coming, bro. We can't stress these things enough, man. We can't go into and this prophecy that's that's bound to happen. Why? Because we know the Lord don't lie. He say, "I'm the Lord; I change not." The Lord don't change, and He is about to bring judgment upon this place, man. That's right. So we just gotta stick with the program, man, and be whatever office. Like I was just explaining, just like in the world, you got the cooks, you got the servers. You got the bus boys. You got <laughs> yeah. the door people that greet people and, and, and sit people down. You got the waiters, man. Find whatever your place is and just do it. Fall in line. It's simple, man. Simple, 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 man. You got it. Um, that uh that was in on that was the end of that one. Hey, um, um, um GMS Hopeful Elect put up um that Amos, that yeah. Amos five and nineteen, eighteen started 18. at eighteen. Yeah, cause I and we quoted that earlier. It's just the spirit. God, this is uh Amos five and eighteen from the brother GMS. Hopeful elect three, my brother Quanta Wolf. Quanta Wolf, and it reads, "Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light." Uh, Amos 5 and 19, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him and went to his the house and and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Mm. So it's going to be calamity after calamity. That's right. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? It's gonna be no escaping, bro. It ain't. It, it's gonna be no escaping, no escaping, no getting away from this, no nothing. If you didn't come back to your house by Shem El if you didn't come back to your house if you didn't believe on your house it's gonna be no escaping, bro. Which we all, we all in the um period, the grace period, right about now, you know. And the Lord is. This is the Lord's mercy, bro. He always gives a grace period before he brings that judgment. You know, so we're in the grace period right about now to get right with our power before he bring this great judgment upon us, man. You know? So nobody ain't going to be able to be able to say, oh, I didn't know. I, I didn't know. Nah. It, it, you had a chance. You heard this word. Scripture say, this word shall go throughout the whole four corners of the earth, and then shall the end come. So it ain't gonna be no season, bro. I mean, it's a lot. It ain't gonna be no um. It it, it ain't gonna be no excuses. God. It's another one, brother. Put up another one at First Thessalonians five and one. I get it. This is First Thessalonians. Five and one and it reads, but of the times and the season, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. 
Hey, the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. And we know that's how Yahweh shot coming. Scripture say, uh, as in the days, as in the days of, of Noah, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. So just like in the time of Noah, when the rain came by surprise, that's how Yahweh shot coming. Um, by surprise, yo. Yahweh shot coming like that as a thief in the night. By surprise to take everybody that was um and, and, and catch everybody in their wickedness, man, which is two thirds of the nation of Israel, you know, because Esau and these heathens they doing what they was created to do, but the Lord gonna catch you Israelites in your wickedness. You got it up. God. And it reads, uh, First Thessalonians five and three, for when they shall say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as a tra as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And they shall not escape, man. And going back to that Amos, you ain't gonna be able to escape when when Yahweh shall bring his wrath, man. When he bring his wrath upon you, man, upon this place. You know, it ain't going to be no escaping. It ain't going to be no getting away. It ain't going to be no, I'm sorry, Lord, please. It ain't going to be none of that, yo. Yeah, yeah. Shit, we had a chance to get right. We had a chance to make it right, man. To make it right a, a, a long time. Because the Lord, the Lord shows an abundance of mercy. He give you a, a, a nice period of time to get right. Noah prophesied 120 years. That's a long ass time. Yeah. That is that's, that's a, a long that's time. That's a long-ass time, man. 120 years. Warning Israel to get right, ate the rain coming. Noah didn't even know what rain was, man. But he was moved okay. by fear, by the Lord. And like the brother said, the Lord had to show Noah something to put that fear in his ass, man. You know, to do that. And like the Lord show us, the nuclear, the Lord show us these different signs and times. And we see this shit happening, man. It puts that yep. fear in us. Yep, we see it. We see the uh, the proof is in the pudding. We see the, 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 the we see the missiles. We see the ICBMs that's that's um being paraded around from these different nations. So we know that they're going to be used. We we know what the scriptures say is true. Right. I got a quick one. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 5 and 7, and it reads, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put off and, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So, hey, <laughs> that's just another warning from God by Shiran Rashad telling you. And he's coming, and he's coming soon. And, and even our Lord don't know the day and hour he's going to return. Only the Heavenly Father knows this. But the, the Heavenly Father, he going he gonna to put it on you so quick, man. You're you going to be in your security, thinking everything all good. And, and, and next thing you know, the Lord going to be sending his son back, judging the earth, man. And you right. people, uh, And you people going to get caught out there. And, and, and go, it, it's no, and we can't feel sorry for you, All right? And you're, and you're, uh, weeping and gnashing the teeth in this time to come, man. You're gonna be fucked up out here. Hey, and know. even even if we do feel sorry, bro, even if we do feel sorry, because we ultimately, you know, ultimately we are a compassion, a passion, compassionate people. Oh, hey, bro, I thought y'all about to my shot. Just saw a chariot, yo. Okay. And the Lord with us, bro. I just saw a chariot, and it disappeared before my eyes, man. Lord manifest, man. But um, like I was saying, through the Spirit, ultimately we're a uh, compassionate people. We're a loving people. But um, it, it's gonna be. It, it ain't gonna be nothing that we can do when when the Lord begin to bring this judgment. We ain't gonna be able to save nobody, bro. You know, if you didn't do what the Lord commanded you to do to the best of your abilities and truth and sincerity, you're going to have to face whatever judgment the Lord bring before you. That's why mm. we hoping that we doing right. Because when the judgment come to us, we hoping that the Lord deliver us out of it. Because we all going to be faced with judgment. Man. But 
the Lord is going to deliver those who came back and did what was commanded in truth and sincerity. And that's what we're hoping for, man. That's what we're hoping for. That's why we fight. That's why we do these videos. That's why we that's why we pray and hope for mercy, man. That's why we repent in the names of Yahweh by Hashem outside. That's why we learned the true names of the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, to call on to be saved, man. You know? That's why we do all these things, bro. That's why we we came back to our power and we're trying to do what he commanded us to do in the midst of hell, where it's easy to go off. It's easy to deal in wickedness, but we fight, bro. You know, we hoping that, that you know, we hoping that the Most High be pleased with this, man, you know, and save us. That's right. I got, a, uh, I got another one. Kind. I want you to get that loop, too. Kind. But you can uh, get that after you get what you're about to get. Okay. Pretty much going to the same thing as uh, 2 Peter 3 and 10. And it reads, but the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shah will come as a thief in the night. And the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Mm. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right. Them, nu them nuclear missiles, man. And which the Lord is going to have Russia, China, North Korea shoot these nuclear missiles over here that's going to melt the elements, bro. This this right here, is, when we hear these things, bro, that should strike fear in our hearts to do what the Lord commanded us to do to the best of our abilities and to be on fire for this truth, to be on fire for this word because we know these things are going to happen because they happened in the past. They're going to happen in the future, bro. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes condemning them with an overthrow, making them an example onto those that after shall live ungodly. And what this place live like? This place is super ungodly, man. You got yeah. trannies. You got, you got homosexuality, women on women, men on men, idol, idol worship all over the fucking place, man. False gods being worshipped and, and, and lifted up, man. That's why the Lord got to cleanse this place by the way of fire and melt all this shit to the elements, man. Scripture speak about how how uh, uh, um nothing is gonna be here no more when the Lord get done with this place, man. It's gonna be a, a monument. It's gonna be a place for us to look at. Like, damn, that was a wicked ass place. We're gonna see the the scripture speak about. We're gonna see the smoke coming up for this from this fucking place, man. Only thing that's going to be here is desert-like creatures, bro, when Yahweh Bashim outside get done with this place, man. It ain't going to be pretty, bro. That's why we come back to the Lord, because the scriptures say this world passeth away. This place is about to be obsolete. It's about to be over with, man. Everything we see, everything that we so-called love, everything, you know, here in this, 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 this kingdom is about to be done away with, bro. That's why it's best to come back to the Lord. Don't put your all into a place that's going to be destroyed, man. You know? Right. You got it, Doc. That shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Right. This place going to be wiped the fuck out, man. And rightfully so. And rightfully so, man. Rightfully so, because it's dealing in wickedness. It's a lot of wicked things um, going on here. It's a lot of wicked ass things that don't went on here. And the scriptures say, um, blood defileth the land. Yep. The blood of who? The blood of Israel, the apple of the Lord's eye. You know, our blood is throughout throughout this Babylon. Spread it, man. Yeah, the whole, whole America's. From east to west coast, this shit is spread with our blood, man. Judah, Gad, Reuben, Issachar. Damn. All the tribes, yo. All the tribes. And this devil, man, who man, he got a lot, he's got so much goddamn to pay for, man. Yeah, kind. He deserved to go in this fire. That that's yeah. that's that's predestined for him already. But I got you. Uh, you wanted that Luke 21 or you wanted that Luke 12? Um, that Luke 21. God, this is uh, Luke 21, starting at 25. 
And it reads, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Hey, hey look up that word perplexity. Um, Well, we're a perplexity, man. It's a lot. Nah, you good, I? Hey, cause we um. We look words up here at Great Millstone, man. That's because hey, it's all about getting the understanding. It's good to say, um, with all that I'm getting, get understanding so we can actually know what these things mean and what they're talking about. We got to get to the root word, the root of it. <laughs> look it in the um, item online. I got, I got the uh, definition on, online, but I was going to get the one. Uh, Okay, perplexity. I got it. I got it on the um, Enema Online, and it and it says bewilderment, doubt, uncertainty, confusion, mm. perplexity, and then the uh, the one online. It says. An ability to deal with or understand something complicated or unaccountable. Right, which the Lord gave us the ability to understand the, the things that's that's you know why these things happening and what's about to happen because these things are happening. <clears throat> yeah. Some of the words are bafflement, of mm -hmm. course I said bewilderment, confusion, puzzlement, incomprehension. Lack of comprehension. Mm. So, yeah, that's 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 a beautiful word of of how men gonna be. Time. Uh, so I read that again. This is Luke twenty one and twenty five, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nation with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts. Failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. Right. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. A man's heart's failing them for fear. Looking at these different signs and different things. Oh, why is these things happening? They got to know that it's the Lord, man. That's why it's right. beautiful the Lord gave us the, 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 um, the mind. I mean, the, yeah, the, the mind to understand what these things are and why are they happening and why they got to happen, man. It's, it's a beautiful thing, man. That's why we just got to hold fast um, and, and and just keep pushing this word and keep believing because this is going to happen, man, because we're seeing these signs of the times. And a lot of people about to bug out and just drop dead. And when, you know, Lord willing, we just keep enduring because we, we know what the scriptures say. That's why it's going to be vital to have this word in us when when all hell break loose, cause you know we gonna have it in us, man. <sighs> hey, that's like that movie with Denzel when they thought he had the book the whole time. He had it in his damn. He had it in his mind. Right. Well, he did have a book, but he was blind. He was, yeah, he was blind. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah. He, he had the book, Braille. but he was reading it in brittle. Like I yeah, think yeah. it's brittle. Braille. It's Braille. Yeah. Braille. Yeah. yeah. So, so you really, yes. Uh, who, who can really read Braille if you ain't blind? Right. So, you know. And <laughs> hey, that shit crazy, man. That's that's crazy. Like that shit. Hey, even Braille, like touching that shit and reading it. That's hey, that's a hey, Lord bad, man. Yeah, yeah. The Lord is bad. And you can um read the last two verses and we'll close out. Okay. Yeah, this is Luke twenty one and twenty seven. 
Well, I and think it's the last the, one more verse or it's two verses, I think. I think it's one more verse. Well, there's two more verses. Kind. This is uh Luke 21 and 27, and these are this is in red, you know, signifying that Yahweh Shah said these things. And it reads, and the and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draws nigh. Yeah, that, that was the point, you know. Hey, then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud on his chariots, man, which he come in to deliver. I tell you that in um Matthew 24, uh, for the Lord to, to, to send his angels to, to gather the elect, you know? Mm -hmm. So the Lord is um about to make his return back here soon, and they ain't going to be a pretty sight, man. So we just got to stay diligent, uh, stay believing in Yahweh Bashim al Shai, stay prayed up, uh, fast if need, just stay doing the things which the scriptures command us to do to the best of our abil abilities, Akim. You know, being a brother, showing charity. Charity ain't just by money. You know, being there for a brother, man. Showing, showing brother love, man. You know, a, uh, um, which a, you see a brother, you see Yahweh Shai. You know, no matter how how he look, you know, no matter how, you know what he eat, you know, as long as it's lawful, you know, a can't judge that man, man. You know, just. It's just all about being a brother, being sincere, and just trying, bro. Because we know these these prophecies ain't, ain't gonna fail. They they don't lie. So we just gotta be on it, man. You had any closing words, Doc? No, nah, I was just you know it's just a blessing. Just like you said, um, just a minute ago, it's a blessing really to have this this knowledge of the truth, you know, that the Lord has given us. You know, whether it's for our damnation or our salvation. You know, and we're we're hoping it's for our salvation, but this is the best gift you can have right now, man. Not money, mm -hmm. even though we need money and we, these things to to uh, maintain our lives. But hey, this is the best thing that the Lord could have given me, man. Yeah, me and too. And I know, bro. The, I know, brothers, all brothers feel the same. That's all I had to say. Yeah, I feel you on that. I Hey, but we'll close it out right here, man. Um, Lord willing, we hope this video was edifying and encouraging and uplifting to the elect to keep pushing and to stay strong because the Lord is coming and he coming back with, with that fire. He coming back with death and destruction. And we want to we, we hoping that we be delivered man, by, because we came back and was sincere and did what the Lord commanded us to do. So, brothers, just keep fighting. Continue to um, be sincere. Continue to do the will of the Lord, man. Whatever the most high got you doing in this truth, whatever your part is, your role is, hey, do it to the fullest. So with that, Lord willing, we hope this is edifying to the elect. With that, we want to give all praises on and glory due to Yahweh, 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 Giving double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for teaching us his knowledge. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom.